1989, the park was nearly complete. Our investors demanded on-site approval, and I, idiotically as it now turned out, believed we were ready. The debacle of August 27th, 1989, is now quite well known, and the legal consequences were, as you may well imagine, uh, rather extensive. I still believe Nedry left himself a back door, something about the hobbits or God knows what. On October the 3rd, 1989, I sat on a wooden bench in the waiting room in Washington, D.C. A government panel put me on the stand. As my name was read out, the session room went silent. They walked up the aisle towards the stand. I was being called to account, but I had no clear explanation to give. I'm sure you've heard the rest of the story on the television news or in the tabloids. Bankruptcy. I leaned against the wall, my whole body shook. I dropped the mug, it shattered. I let it lie there. We would be leaving soon. When it became known that I was bankrupt, workers simply dropped their tools and walked away. As we left, we vandalized our own locking mechanisms. InGen tolerates no trespasses. Buildings were stripped of everything valuable. Technicians and workmen crowded round the docks, fearing they might be left behind when the security ring collapsed. Armed guards stood watch. I can picture them moving cautiously through the dusty rooms in bulky biohazard gear, clutching rifles, poring over our records, reading our files. And we sealed off the town, save for a few crucial gates, southward to the Lunans, eastward to the power plant and laboratory. We sealed the eastern gate for the last time. Gazing from my study window, I hit on a simple mnemonic for the passcode. Like Nedry, I felt I needed to keep a back door open. I gave myself over to the strange, lonely discipline of the market, investment strategies and profit. I stood apart, master of codes and lost worlds of heat and cold, and the sleep of a hundred million years. A lost world is a sort of scientific myth an evolutionary scenario in which an ecosystem is isolated and preserved. The rest of the world changes, leaving a tiny, fragile pocket where ancient species survive. 